okay here we'll solve the problems on population and depreciation so whenever the value is increasing we'll use some formulas and when the value is decreased also we'll apply the same similar formula which is uh, using for compound interest so i'll explain directly two problems one is on population one is on depreciation how it changes okay let me write question you'll see here the population of a certain town so by understanding this uh, problem we'll see how to solve the remaining questions also the population of a certain town was 4 lakhs 55625 okay in the year 2015 so in the uh, year 2015 this is the population now it increases it increases at the rate of 8% every year every year it is increasing at the rate of 8% Now, so first one, what would be its population in the year? 2017. So in 2017, what is the population? At the same time, what was its population in the year 2013? Okay, what will be the population 2017 and what was the population in the year 2013 okay. these two we need to solve okay. first of all the population of the certain town is this that means in the year 2015 okay. so first of all right population in the year 2015 In the year 2015 is there is equals to four lakhs fifty five thousand six twenty five and increasing rate so rate of increase here so rate of increase is equals to 8% per annum okay, every year 8% the population is increasing now this is a given data first of all so as per the first problem according to the first question population in the year 2017 means the population after 2 years right 15 year 2015 is given 16 and 17 so population in the 2017 population in the year 2017 so that is nothing but population after two years okay, population after two years after two years means we'll use so formula that is p into 1 plus r by 100 whole power n is you know, so two times so we can write here like this first of all value is 4 4 4 5 5 6 25 into how much rate is increasing 8 percent that is 1 plus 8 by 100 all to the power 2 because for two years it is now this if you solve you will get the population in the year 2017 4 lakhs 55,625 into 
8 by 100 that is 108 by 100 two times so 108 by 100 so you can simplify this we can cancel 25 27 okay 5 table 7 25 so by cancelling with this everything we will get finally 5 lakhs 31,441 so by calculating this is the population in the year 2017 so it's increased 5 lakhs 31,441 now hence the population of 2017 would be 53,150 sorry 5 lakhs 31,441 now population in the year 2013 also we need to find out so this is actually 2 years back so that since we don't know that we will take like this let the population in the year 2013 be x let the population ok this is the value for 2017 not 2013 you need to find out so don't use minus you need to use this like this population let the population in year 2013 be takes an x now from 2013 to 15 is increased then population in 2015 then population in 2015 is nothing but from 2013 to 2 years you should add that is 2013 x into 1 plus increasing rate is same 8% 8 by 100 all to the power 2 ok this is population in 2015 but we know already population in 2015 right that is according to the given Four double five, four lakhs fifty five thousand six twenty five. That is equal to x into one plus eight by hundred. That is one not eight by hundred into one not eight by hundred. From this, if we find out the value of x, that will be it was the population two thousand thirteen. Okay, cancellations twenty five twenty seven zero. Okay, 427 is a 425 sir. 425 sir. Again from this x is equals to take all right hand values left side 4 lakhs 55,000 625 into reciprocal 25 by 27 into 25 by 27. Now this value if we simplify that is 4, 5, 5, 6, 25 into 25, 25 is 6, 25 by 27 into 27, 729. This after cancellations, so finally get 3 lakhs 90,625. So it was the population 2013. Okay, this is the way we can find the solutions whenever it's regarding the population problems. Now we'll see one more question which are related to depreciation. A machine is bought for a machine is bought for rupees. 1,80,400 its value depreciates at the rate of 10% per annum ok find the value after two years 
now value is depreciates so when value is depreciates value of the machine after two years so it is the minus one that I'm writing problem so value of the machine so value of the machine after two years so it's decreasing every year so after two years is now present is one eight zero four zero zero so one lakh eighty thousand is present into and ten percent is decreasing for two years that means one minus ten by hundred power two okay. this we need to simplify Ten ones are ten tens are. Whenever the depreciates, you should use minus. So one lakh eighty thousand four hundred into one minus one by ten. That is a nine by ten power two. So into nine by ten. Okay, two zeros tens so you can cancel. Then one eight zero four one thousand eight hundred four into nine nine is eighty one. Now if you multiply, this is the value after two years. That is okay. Multiply one lakh forty six thousand one twenty four. So, whenever the value is depreciates, you need to use the minus here one minus uh, depreciate percent by hundred all to the power n. So, n is nothing but number of uh, years. So, this is the way we can solve the problems which is uh, related to the population. Or depreciation. Now this all the previous also we have seen compounded annually. Now next we will see how to find out the compound interest when interest is is uh, compounded half yearly, and fall we will see when interest is compounded quarterly also. We will uh, solve the problems now.